So here I am, back in my machine shop, and of course, I have a new project to show everyone. We're going to do this on my horizontal boring machine. This is a 1942 Giddings Lewis Model 25. This thing is amazing. I have here an early style 289 302 block. This utilizes a two piece rear main seal. Generally, it's a rope seal. I want to convert this block to a one piece rear main seal, just like this engine block over here. This is a 5 liter. This utilizes one piece rear main seal. Here's a couple cap examples. We have the cap for this engine block here and here's a 5 liter cap. I've laid this out. There is material. This project will work. So I'll stick around. I'm going to try and film this without screwing it up too much. Alright, so now I got this block set up, it's clamped down. I even actually got it dialed in now. I got my dial on the rear flange here for the bell housing. I run it across. You get zero. I know you can't see this in the video, but uh, I guess you'll just have to trust me. So now we're going to dial up to the bore. Probably could have been a little more ready for this. Install the collet holder. Install this rear main. Torque the spec. I'll take a rough measurement with my scale first. Get it close. Perfect. And we are dialed up. <clears throat> so we'll go in with this adjustable boring head I have. We'll probably use a carbide insert tool similar to this or a couple other different ones to choose from. We'll figure it out as we're going. I'm going to take this dial indicator and I'm going to set this down on my uh, table ways. This is going to let me know how deep I'm cutting, make adjustments and increments 
and I'll know what's going on. All right, that's set. I'll increment until I scrape. And we'll call that zero. So I'm not liking the way this tool's working out. It's gonna be extended too far. I should have pre-checked that. I'm gonna change my boring head. Okay, this is starting to work out pretty good. Make sure our depth is coming uh, somewhat correct here. Oh, it's bang on. We'll do another 50 thou per side increment, 100 total.
not sure how this is looking in the video, but uh, being here in person, that looks pretty nice. Let's have a look here. So that puts me at about 38 and a half. I'm gonna try and scratch out another dial per side here. Seeing as this is a cast iron engine block, that should be no problem. So that should do it. I guess this thing doesn't zoom good enough to see what the hell I'm looking at. Oh well, you'll just have to trust me. So now that I got the bore taken care of, my step is to depth. I want to come in here, put some chamfers on. I want to clean this back face off. We got a little bit of shrapnel coming off here. We're going to clean that up so we don't have any crap falling the engine. I want it to look good too for this guy. And here we go. There's our bore. There's our step so the seal doesn't go too far back. It's right on size. Looks good. Looks original. And we will now retain a one piece rear main seal with no leaks. It's a beautiful thing.